In the previous video, we have created a root fixer that is responsible for fixing the prefabs that we are currently placing on the map and we will want to swap the type of the prefab to road straight, corner, through a four-way or dead end depending on the neighbors of this model that we have placed on the map. But we are currently not using it. So to use this class, we will need to open up the road manager. So let's go to the assets in the project section, scripts, and let's open up the road manager. Okay, we are in our road manager script and we have created this temporary placement positions list. Let's copy the name, but we have not yet used it in our script. So let's slide it down to the placement road, uh, sorry, so to place road method. And after we check the position that it is okay to be uh, placing a road prefab on this position. Before we place our temporary structure, we are going to call our list, so temporary placement positions, dot clear, because we want to clear it before we add a new prefab. And next, we are going to add to it our current position. Okay. So the idea behind it will be that when we implement our A star to search path for our road, when we move our mouse, when we drag our mouse, we are going to add each space to our temporary placement positions. And after we do that, we are going to modify the prefabs of the neighbors as well as of the currently placed road prefabs to be correctly, uh, so they, to have the correct model. So the three way, four way, straight uh, line or corner or dead end. And this is very important to add it to the temporary placement positions list because we are going to modify this list as well as create a new list in a bit. But let's focus currently on fixing this one position for the road that we are currently placing. So after we have added the position to our temporary placement positions, we are going to call, after placing the road, we are going to call a new method called fix road prefabs. Okay, we do not have this method, so alt enter and generate this method in our class. And in this method, instead of throwing an exception, we are going to call for each tab tab twice. And we are going to loop through the temporary placement positions. So let's copy the name and let's paste it into this for each. And instead of item, we are going to name it road position or maybe temporary position. Okay. And inside this loop, we would like to call our road fixer to fix our road. So let's slide up and let's create a public road fixer reference, call it road fixer. What we can do is we can call start and we can find it using road fixer equals get component road fixer since this is this component is on this game object that the road manager resides on. So we have access to the road fixer and inside this for each loop inside fix road prefabs, what we are going to do we, is we are going to call road fixer fix road at position and we are going to pass to it placement uh, manager and we are going to pass to it temporary position. So temporary position. Okay, great. And let's go to Unity and let's see what happens right now. Okay, so let's run our game. So let's click on the map. And you can see that nothing happens. Why is that? Because we have a bug in our code. So let's stop the game. And let's open up our placement manager. Okay. So in our get neighbor types for and I have misspelled it, so control RR if you want to re rename the method, neighbor types four. And we have our vector three int position, which is position on our map. And instead of passing Z, I have passed here Y value, which is always zero. So let's see if we have uh, in any other place this problem. And I don't think so. So let's go back to Unity. Let's press play. And let's try placing the road. And we have another bug. Okay, so let's stop the game 
and I can see that the bag is that uh, can't destroy transform component. So I suppose the issue is in the structure model class. So let's open it up. Okay. And I can see the issue that we are trying to destroy the transform, but what we want to destroy is the game object. So let's save it. Let's go back to Unity. Okay, so let's run Unity. And we should be able to see that when we place our road, we can create curves or corners. And they are placed correctly. Okay, we have checked this one. This is a three-way. We can place a four-way. But there is an issue when we place another uh, street here. It should be a dead end, but for some reason it is placing a curve. So let's stop the game and let's go back to our root fixer script. So let's find the scripts folder. Let's open up the root fixer. Let's slide down to find the uh, create dead end. Actually, we can right click on it and go to definition, or you can use the in the top right corner of Visual Studio. You can find every method that you have created in the script. So we need create dead end. And of course, we can see that instead of a dead end, we are placing a corner. So let's change it to a dead end. Okay. And we should have this fixed. Let's save this class. Now let's go back to Unity. Okay, let's press play. And now if we place a road, we will have a dead end on every side. We can create a four way. We can create a through A in different directions. And it's supposed it uh, is working, I think. What we need to do now is to fix the issue where, so if we have this and we place another uh, road, we are not fixing the neighbor of this road, so this stays a three way, but we can already see that it should be a four way and those should be changed into a dead ends. Let's find out how we can fix it. So let's stop the game. And let's go back to our road manager. Okay, we are in our road manager script. And we have our temporary placement positions, the list that we are adding to our positions. And we need to have another one of those to store the positions of our neighbors. So we are going to place the positions on our temporary placement positions uh, on our map and add them to the temporary placement positions list. And then we are going to find the neighbors for those positions of type road and add them to another list. So let's paste the same uh, line of code and let's rename it to road positions to recheck. Okay, so this will be the special list that we are going to add to when we want to uh, check if the neighbor of this currently placed road should be, uh, should be fixed. So let's slide down to where we are fixing road prefabs. And after we fix the initial road prefab, we are going to call var neighbors equals placement manager dot get neighbors types of, uh, no, we want to have get neighbors of type four. So we want to get the neighbors of specific type for the position that we are currently placing a road on. So what we are going to pass here is the temporary position and the cell type road. Okay. And since we do not have this method, so uh, let's alt enter on it and generate it. Let's right click and go to its definition. Okay, what we will need to return here is not an object, but a list of vector three ints. Okay. And instead of throwing an exception, we are going to call var neighbor cells or vertices equals our placement grid dot get adjacent cells of type that's why we have those helper methods in our grid and we are going to pass x and y position so temporary position dot x and temporary position dot z as y value and our road type for the type and what we can do is we can rename those parameters from road to type and from temporary position to position 
to make this method universal. So now what we will receive is a list of points. So what we will need to do is simply create a list of a vector three ints, call it neighbors, equals new list. And next we are going to call for each tab, uh, tab tab to create it from the snippet. And we are going to uh, loop for each point on the neighbor vertices or for each vertex in the neighbor vertices. And we are going to add each uh, and every point to our neighbors list. So neighbors dot add new vector three int. And we are going to pass it point dot x zero and point dot y. Okay, and at the end, what we are going to do, uh, let me check what is going on. Okay, we do not have small x, the point contains big x variable and big y variable. Okay, now it should be good. So, last thing we will need to return our neighbors list. Okay, great. Let's go back to our road manager using the blue arrow in the top left corner or of Visual Studio. Great. And what we will need to do here is we are going to loop for each tab tab for each neighbor or road position in our neighbors. And we are going to add all of those to our road positions to check. Road positions to recheck dot add and we are going to add to it road position. Okay. And we are using the for each loop because in a bit we are going to also verify if this doesn't contain already this position, since there is no point in rechecking twice the same position. Next we are going to call for each sorry for each tab tab. And for each positions to position to fix in our road positions to recheck. So let's copy the name and paste it instead of the collection. And we are going to call road fixer dot fix road position at. We are going to pass our placement manager and our position to fix. Okay, great. So that should be all. Now we should be able to fix the road positions around our road that we are currently placing. So let's go back to Unity. Okay. Now we should be able to press play. And let's see when we click the road. And you can see that the neighbor of the next road was fixed. Let's add another one. And you can see that the road is being fixed as we place a new prefab or a new model on our map. So that's great and that is pretty important for our project. In the next video we will implement a way to use the ASTAR algorithm to hold our mouse button and place the road as uh, a shortest path from the start point to the end point. So if you are enjoying this video leave a like, leave a comment and see you in the next video.